If you're a centre-back, then William Saliba is one of the best in world football currently to learn from, having everything you'd want in a modern-day centre-back from ball-playing ability, pace and strength, but also one overlooked attribute which sets Saliba apart from other centre-backs in the Premier League. So how can you play like William Saliba? Well, Saliba's fundamental quality comes from his athleticism and physicality, which obviously is somewhat genetic, but it's definitely something that every centre-back can improve. Saliba's strength enables him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with physically dominant strikers like Erling Haaland or Rasmus Hoyland, able to get right up close to them on their backs without being turned easily and being able to compete and most of the time win the physical battle. And this is what makes Saliba such a good front foot defender, as whilst his anticipation and reading of the game is important to initially step out and pressurise the striker with their back to goal, it's his strength that enables him to win these duels most of the time. But it's his pace which is one of these attributes that sets him apart from others in the league, as Saliba is rapid, arguably the best recovery centre back in the league, which enables Mikel Arteta to use a high back line, squeezing up the pitch and compressing the space between Arsenal's defensive shape to make their press more effective, with the reassurance that if the opposition does play a ball in behind Arsenal's defensive line, Saliba has not just the pace to race back to catch the attacker, but also the tackling ability to go to ground, timing a sliding tackle perfectly to stop the 1v1 chance from occurring. His strength, recovery, pace and tackling ability makes him perfectly suited to playing in a high back line, which is what makes him essential to the overall functioning of Arteta's defensive system. But this is where we come on to one of his attributes that doesn't immediately pop out when watching Saliba play, mainly because it's a mental attribute and that's his composure both in and out of possession. In possession, Saliba is able to receive the ball in his own defensive third whilst the opposition is looking to press aggressively, but rather than feeling the pressure to move the ball on quickly, Saliba's composure and ball control allows him to keep possession, look up and wait till the right passing lane ahead has opened up before feeding the pass forward. Whether this is an incisive pass into a player between the lines of the opposition system, or a lofted pass either out wide or into the forward line. And we can see Saliba's composure in these examples, as initially when he receives a ball he has Di Maria on the left side, moving forward to reduce the space in front of him. And whilst the pass out to the right back is on, Saliba recognises that this is exactly where Di Maria wants him to pass, sitting narrow to cut the passing lane in field, to force Saliba out to the flank, so that when the Marseille right back receives the ball, he's right on the touchline and this would allow PSG to squeeze straight over and box the full back in. But Saliba's composure and ball control enables him to feint, as though he's going to play the pass out to the right back, which causes Di Maria to shift to his left, meaning that when Saliba drags the ball back across the other way, Di Maria is caught of balance, allowing Saliba to drive past him, taking him out of the game, and forcing the PSG player in front of him to now move forward to close down Saliba's space, which opens up a greater amount of space for the full back, who can now receive the ball facing forward and drive out of the defensive third. In order to develop this kind of composure under pressure in your own defensive third, it really comes down to you developing your overall technical ability, as this will give you the confidence to not rush your decisions, and like Saliba, you can use a combination of body feints and disguise to work better angles for a pass. And whilst initially this may seem like something insignificant, it's exactly the type of play from your centre-back which stops the opposition being able to easily predict where the ball is going and squeeze over to anticipate it. And Saliba's ability in this area can also be shown statistically in his FB ref report, where from his short, medium and long pass completion rates, Saliba ranks very high, being the type of centre-back who is very good at retaining possession. Out of possession, his composure is just as good, which combined with his physicality and his reputation, now makes him a formidable force against even the best and quickest forwards in the world, with his performances against Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland over the last few years being perfect examples of this. Against Erling Haaland, Saliba didn't do what most centre-backs do, which is drop off a few yards to negate the threat of the Norwegians pacing behind, giving Haaland the space to then receive the ball. Instead, Saliba got tight and didn't shy away from the physical battle, whilst also knowing he had the acceleration if Haaland did spin in behind him. This ability to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with world-class strikers in the physical and pace battles can't be understated, as rather than Arteta having to adjust his pressing shape by essentially going 2v1 against Haaland, he can keep Saliba 1v1 against him, knowing that the young Frenchman isn't going to get bullied if he goes tight or run off if Haaland spins in behind. And once again, we can see how good Saliba is in these 1v1 duels by looking at his Premier League FB ref report this season, where obviously, because he's playing for Arsenal, his overall volume of defensive actions is pretty low because he side have the ball most of the time. But for the percentage of dribblers he has tackled, as well as the amount of challenges he has lost, Saliba ranks in the top 5% or above when compared against every other defender in the league for both metrics. Showing statistically, Saliba is one of the best in the league in these situations. 
But also, Saliba's concentration in these situations shouldn't be overlooked, as in big games, you can dominate for pretty much the whole game, but if you switch off for just one second, it can allow the forward to get a run on you and put the ball into the back of the net, particularly when you're coming up against strikers like Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe. And so overall, I would say that in order to play like Saliba, yes, you need the physicality, yes, you need the pace and the recovery tackling ability, alongside the technical ability in possession as well, but it's your composure and concentration which is really going to set you apart and take Take those other attributes that you have to the next level. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed that video check out some other others, and subscribe to the channel as well for more videos like this.